coming up in this episode. Welcome to day three on the Able Tasman Coast Track. Today I'm heading from where I stayed last night at Bark Bay Camp, which was a beautiful spot. Got to watch the sunset last night directly from my tent out over the bay and then got up at 5.30 this morning to watch the sun come back up again. Just absolutely serene and idyllic. It was beautiful. Um, and heading to Apple Tree Bay or Apple Tree Cove tonight or well this afternoon where I'll get picked up by a water taxi service just a little bit shy of the southern end of the track at Marahou. The reason for that is just because I had to work in with the available shuttle times. Biggest worry of today is the Torrent Bay estuary crossing um, which has like a lot of the estuary crossings on this track a low tide and a high tide route and unfortunately I am not going to be hitting it at low tide and the high tide route adds about another hour and a half onto my day today. Now I think I'm going to be okay because I think I've worked that into my planning but just trying to get an early-ish start this morning just after eight o'clock so that hopefully that's not going to be an issue later. I wasn't expecting a swing bridge today, or well, maybe I was, I do know that uh, they have them here, but there's some lovely falls over there, let's show you. Another nice little climb first thing this morning, right after that swing bridge, just goes up and up and up and up, part of the pain that gets you the gain. So you can probably just make out the low tide route here and uh, just some orange markers leading across and it is definitely too high to get across. Well this high tide track is quite a long way around because you basically have to go all the way up the uh, river valley or inlet valley in order to get there but I just thought I'd scored myself a shortcut but unfortunately there's no getting across this log here I mean there is, I could do it but uh, it would involve getting my feet very wet and uh, to be honest I'm probably just about nearly around anyway so I'm just going to carry on on the normal track <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so that is the end of the high tide track. This track behind me here is the low tide track. It says that there's about 50 minutes down um, and across to Torrent Bay. I'm pretty sure that I left Torrent Bay at 10.30 and it's now just coming up to 20 past 11. Maybe I left a little bit before that, but it certainly didn't take the hour and 50 minutes that the sign said. I think it probably took me around about an hour. So yeah, my plan to stop in Anchorage and have something to eat there, I guess is not going to happen because I'm not walking 30 minutes downhill to hike another 30 minutes back uphill later. So I am instead going to stop here. It's quite a decent sized area here at this junction um, and just have something to eat and then hopefully push on a little bit later. Uh, I've got a good hour that I can rest up here. So. You as you sleep, you don't know I'm looking. With you everything's complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? Go down here and see what this is all about. Cause I just love this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here? So that is the junction down to Apple Tree Bay just up there and the time is just coming up to 2 o'clock now. It's about 10 to 2. So I have made really good time today completing the entire day in actually just under uh, five and a half hours and that included about a 45 minute break for um, lunch a little bit earlier on today as well. We stay here forever. you drag do you know I'm looking Welcome to the beautifully serene and tranquil Apple Tree Bay which marks the end of my journey here on the Abel Tasman Coast Track. Now that I've been here for a little while and I've had a little bit of time to reflect on the last three days I can honestly say that really this was the single best thing I could have done at this particular moment in time. As I mentioned this has been my first completely solo multi-day tramp and what a fantastic multi-day track to start with here on the Abel Tasman Coast Track. The last two days in particular have been some of the most beautiful that I've ever hiked in a coastal area in New Zealand and you really can't go past New Zealand on a good day like this. For me though, the Abel Tasman Coast Track has been an immense learning experience and it's helped to boost my confidence so that I can get out there and enjoy more of what our great walks and other tramping tracks here in New Zealand have to offer. 